Hello, friends. This is Dooley from Central Michigan. I wish I could give you better quality on my things. I've got the camera. I just don't know how to do it. If you look at one of my other videos, me and my son took it out. It's called a GoPro, and it takes beautiful pictures and video, but it kept shutting that off for three minutes, you know. I didn't know what I was going to name this video. I mean, I got so many things I'm after. Uh, I guess this would be my more gallons update to let my more gallons people know what's going on with me. You know, I'm not a doctor. They all say that because you're, oh, you're afraid you're going to, you know, whatever. The biggest thing I've found since February of 2016 has been a progressive thing. I had to start doing things that I trusted. I mean, I, I had people approaching me, guys that were serious. I'd say after about, I don't know, a couple months after February, when I, you know, that's when I, I knew I had them. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to say before that I didn't have more gallons. I'm saying I went to a lot of hospitals and a lot of things were happening to you. So I'm trying to tell you what I'm doing today. Um, I'm still doing my colonial silver. We have a generator. Uh, I use 22 parts per million. Uh, because of how bad I've had the, the issue, I take four ounces in the morning and four ounces at night. I've said it in my other videos. It did not make me blue. It's made with distilled water. I have a generator that my wife does a great job of making it and I incorporated that all the intestinal stuff I had worms coming out of me eggs crazy stuff I, uh, you know one of my other videos has pictures I don't know how to do pictures on here yet I'm still ignorant about this program but what I want to say is sooner or later you know you're gonna have to pick something out you know uh, I know that generator I you know, back when I got it, I got probably $125 wrapped up in that with the silver wires and and uh, things like that. And I'm still thinking about when I get the money, buying another one for a backup for my somebody in my family, you know. People are making bug out bags, you know, uh, getting their guns, getting places to go, uh, a first aid kit, you know, water. Man, when you're to the point of bugging out and you got problems... You're going to need to, you know, that's antibiotics. They used that stuff for many years before 1959 or whatever it was when Big Farmer decided that since they donated so much money to these hospitals and universities that they wanted somebody to sit on their board. Well, they're sitting on the board, all right. Uh, <laughs> the other thing, I put the silver in my eyes. My eyes have gotten 90% better. You know, back then I went to, to get an eye check at the veterans. Oh, you got starting uh, cataracts. And I'm like, oh, man. You know, they were misdiagnosing me after looking back on it, you know. But the biggest thing that hurt me is somebody that didn't like me in that VA hospital put delusions of peritosis. That means most of you know, but for people that don't know, uh, that you're crazy. You pick at your skin. You think something's crawling on you. In that you know, I've got the I've got the scars. You know, I've got you know, I've got them. I got them on my belly, my chest. Most of mine's on the forearms and the front torso, stomach. Um, but the other thing I use was SSKI, super saturated potassium iodide, not iodine. Uh, I didn't do the whole treatment, but because it, it, it maybe hurts Heimer so bad. Uh, I got this remedy from the unwanted cat. He's online and he was, he's selling the kit, you know, the eyedropper and four packets, you know, just the packets alone are $20. Some of you are doing Lugol's iodine 5%. Okay. The stuff I'm doing is. As much as that distilled water will take of this medicine, this potassium iodide powder. And when I put it on my sores now, nobody ever said nothing about doing it. It burns the hell out of them for a couple seconds. But it dries it up, it seems like. It seems like it dries it up. And then with the other stuff I use, 
uh, it dries it up. Uh, I started reverting back to some of my very first treatments uh, in the last 10 days. I took seven baths right in a row of sea salt, the uh, Epsom salt, a lot of it. Uh, I finally got a uh, garden tub here where I'm living now. I can move around in it, you know, still get water on the floor. My <laughs> wife gets mad, but oh well. Put this much of a body in the water, it's going to have some displacement. But anyways, uh, I know it, it pushed a lot of stuff out of my arms. And I start seeing all these little pink, all these, uh, I don't know, they look like blood blisters, you know. Uh, and it's like, well, old people get them when they get bruised and that. That ain't what it is. I looked at the hair follicles really close, and I noticed a lot of people take needles and pick and stuff. And I, I'm like, man, I don't want to pick my skin and open up stuff. So I, I, I said, I'll bet you they're using the other end of the needle. Sure enough, I'd look real close, and there'd be a little red, black dot, and it would be associated with a hair follicle. And I'd just take it and rub it until that black dot come out. I did it in the tub. Okay. Some of these tubs I took for four hours. You know, people said, no, 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 you only need 20 minutes. I did four hours. Uh, I was enjoying relaxation. You know, I had something on, uh, something I was listening to. But uh, I, I think the biggest thing I did was to get started. It's something that, you know, when you got it and you're a new person, uh, you do a lot of the same things. You ask people, oh, man, I got this. I, what should I do? You know, you go to the forums and that. That's normal. The next thing is you take, start taking pictures. You start putting stuff on from the microscopes. What is this? You know, have you ever had this? I'd say that's normal. But in between that, before that, and the uh, first part of doing something, I had a lot of anger. My first thing was, is who did this? I had a strong suspicion it was the, the Veterans Hospital because I was not giving them a break. You know, I'm 14 months to see an infectious disease doctor? Nuh-uh. But they pushed me around for 14 months. I ended up having to buy Blue Cross. I said, okay, I'm going to go to U of M. I went there on my own, you know, uh, and I, I guess I used the wrong word. I had a worm come out of my wrist. Maybe it wasn't a worm, you know, looking back at it. I shouldn't have said that. But I have a picture of it. It's a piece of whatever white stuff that comes out of you. It had a black eye on it, and I swear it was moving. Uh, we kept taking hydrogen peroxide with a Q-tip and rubbing it, and it was irritating. It would come out, and then when I see how far it come out, my wife grabbed it with a with tweezers, and I seen that thing come out, and, my, and I'm like, I had to lay back on my bed. I thought I was going to pass out. I've never passed out because of the sight of something before, but I guess in my brain it was like, there's something like that living in my body, growing and coming out of me. I've done a lot of research. I, I guess the update I'm trying to tell you. Oh, another thing I do. I don't wear this. I'm not a biker. You know, I'm a veteran and stuff. I love bikers. Good people. It's because about every two, three days I shave my head. Someone told me the most important thing is to, is to get the top of your head and stuff. Yeah. So what I did is I, I was told a way to make like a shampoo to clean that or help it. You can use any shampoo, but today we bought some aloe vera, a big bottle of it. Whatever you use for shampoo, you put it on for treatment. And then you take baking soda. I don't know how much. My wife put a lot on it and rubbed and rubbed and rubbed. Then I, I kind of sat there, and I'm feeling like, oh, man, I feel this here. I feel that there. I feel this, you know. Uh, I don't know if it's because I put it on right after I shaved my head, and just, all the pores were open. But, man, uh, today I feel one spot on here. You know, it's hard to see your own head, but uh, what I do with, like, the one spot, I got a doctor down at... Uh, you know, U of M, he's hip to what's going on. We just don't talk about more guns. It's called Colby Clobetasol Proportionate. C-L-O-B-E-T-A-S-O-L. -E then we got P-R-O-P-I-O-N-A-T-E. 
first sign that I got that this doctor was working with me was uh, insurance don't cover it. He says, that's okay. We're going to bullshit him a little bit. Whatever he did, by the time I got back, three hours later, that's how far of a drive it is. Uh, I had it. It's $200 a tube. Uh, they paid it. I've been getting it ever since. He's, then the next clue I had that he really wanted to help me, he says, well, you're a veteran. Hey? And I says, yeah. I'll call up over the veterans. I'm going to have, I'm going to order some from you because you see, it's just a small tube. And I've been using it all over my body, mostly on my arms, my gut. I think the reason I'm having so much on my gut still is because it's, there's so much fat there. And these things get in you deep, you know. Some people get fat when they get this. Some people get skinny. Uh, any of you that know Bill, you know, William King or Bill King or whoever he is now, uh, he seemed to have lost weight. And he's all, every time you see him, all oh, my stories, all this is coming out of me, all oh, my stories. Why don't you help me? Why don't you help me? I need money. I need money. You know, that's another story. But you got to watch out people, especially you guys that have got this disease. You, you're going to want to help people. Okay. I'm not out here to trash people, but man. And then uh, the next next thing I do is I get out. Uh, I put this cap on. I got fresh new clothing, you know. Whatever I use that day, my wife takes it and watches it. Everything I touch. Uh, we, we take the sheets off every few days. I no longer have a mattress on my bed. I have a foam mattress. I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, memory foam or something like that. Works a lot better. I don't feel any fibers hanging out in there. Uh, the other tip I'd give you is, I think everybody goes to these form, forums. A lot of people are laying back. Yeah, maybe I'll find a cure in here today. Maybe I'll find some. But they don't really share in there, you know. Uh, man, if you want to make it and help other people, you got to share. You know, let them know what you know. The latest dilemma I got is a guy I talked to. Uh, if we're talking about the actual fungus, the bio slime crap that comes out of you and keeps you having this stuff. He swears using turpentine, and the way he does it, mixes it with honey, I'll feel so much better, I'll lose so much weight, uh, that all this is candida in me, uh, I'm open to suggestions, but this ain't nothing new I've learned about the turpentine, uh, my wife freaks out saying, you're going to take turpentine, not in my house, my wife's very protective of me, you know, we've been together 41 years, but I'm still thinking about doing it. I think she had a fear for me when I first started doing the silver. But when she started, you know, I try not to get graphic. And I try not to say other things I've done. But earlier on, uh, I did coffee enemas. I did everything people were telling you to eat. And not eat the apple cider vinegar. Well, that's kind of touchy to me now. The apple cider vinegar after watching Tony Pella, that Daryl, if I'm saying his name right, he's a herbalist. He claims that the apple cider vinegar, yeah, will change you out, make you alkaline and all that kind of stuff, but then it has quantum dots in it. One of my pictures on my video where I'm showing my stuff, you can see a blue light. We we're using a, something to make it show up, and then. Back then, I had a patch right here on my arm. It was a patch of about 20. Uh, 20 patches, you know, like, but it looked like Legos, perfectly laid out, perfectly laid out. Uh, you know, Joe talks about when we eat certain things, you got to peel it an eighth of an inch. You know, you eat orange, an orange, you got that big skin on it. Uh, that's covering you, you know. Uh, anything you can peel, you know. But I'm not here to tell you about the food. I'm just trying to tell you I'm trying to change. You know, I, I just had to get well. People say, look at me smoking cigarettes. Yeah, right before that, I got sick. Me and my wife both quit for 16 months. It was a feeling of despair. It was like, man, I'm done. I am done. And she seen me smoke, so she, she smoked. I know the weight's got to come off me next. I can't walk. Some of you seen my other videos. I can walk, like from here to the bathroom here. If I had to go get something out of the fridge to eat or 
whatever. I found out I couldn't even let my lab out and take him on a leash. You know, I thought by going out on the porch and he'd go in the yard somewhere. My wife was in the hospital getting looked at. She was having problems yesterday. He took that leash all the way out, stood there and stood there. And I said, come on, dude, go potty, you know. I didn't know what he was doing, but he would not go. Then I said, come on, come on in. You know, I tried to get him in. I couldn't get him in for 40 minutes. I had to leave him out there, take the leash, jam it in the sliding door. And my wife told me when she got home, well, he didn't want to poop in our yard. I just wrecked it the other day. I'd take him across the street in the field. I didn't know that. She does all that stuff. But uh, another thing I've learned, too, is, uh, man, I met somebody on here, and I don't even care if they hear it. I used their video by accident today because it sounded good and it looked good. It's about patents. And her name was Michelle X, this one. Uh, I'm not in this to make money on YouTube. I've got a PayPal on there, but that's because I'm having such a hard time. You know, I haven't got any money from anybody. But the more people I tell, I, I just believe the more God's going to bless me. You know, he's going to say, well, why you were there? Why, you know, did you help anybody? So, and yes, in some of my videos, I say, I hope you get to know Jesus. I hope you get saved, stuff like that. I'm not no preacher. You get people coming on there, well, I'm seven day Adventist. You need to be, you need to watch this and that, uh, I'm, I told people I'm a Jesus man. I love the red parts of the Bible. Some of you all understand what I'm saying. I know there's a whole other Bible, but my meaning is Jesus actually said this himself. Okay. I still have enough about me. Like I asked my wife to one day, let's get down on, we get on a floor and kneel with me. Both of us are in bad shape. Uh, we got our pillows out and prayed. And I prayed for about 10 minutes and I asked the Lord, you know, what we needed, that we needed help around the house here and that. Uh, so, but every day I keep asking, them. but there's something I do different than other people. It's like I, uh, I invite them to, you know, or check me out or do stuff like I did it again today. And my, my grandson and my wife started laughing. Uh, I said, Lord, thank you for my truck. I love this truck, man. It just help, helps everybody in the family. Everybody needs rides. I mean, it's a new truck. It's already got 22,000 miles on it. And I don't hardly ever drive it. My wife does. He mostly does. And it carries my scooter on the back of it. When I got to go like to U of M, that's a long haul. But, and I said, Lord, I want to invite you in here. You know, I want you to check this car out and the music we're listening to. You know, it wasn't no dirty music. I don't remember what it was. And uh, Sherry goes, who's coming in here? I said, by the Jesus. Oh, my grandson in the back starts laughing. I just wanted to fellowship with him a little, Dad. I wanted to thank him that I got my VA disability check. I wanted to thank him for everything we got that day. I was just grateful. You know, things are getting better. Uh, there's a lot of homeless veterans, vets. I'm not, I came close. Uh, I asked for help monetarily. Like, where I live at, the electric is some weird electric I never even heard of. We called him out, well, you got to have a $200 deposit. And I said, for what? We've never been with you guys before. Well, that's just the way we do it, you know, blah, blah, blah. We got three phones. None of them work here. Why? It's got a steel rope on this trailer. Okay. I got landmines ordered as soon as possible. I went to uh, Salvation Army looking for old phones to use. Uh, it's all going to work out, but there's just hundreds of things we need. Towels, you know, we threw all that stuff away because we thought it was infected, all my clothes, all my wife's clothes, things that we cherished, you know, and then the stuff we are keeping, we're spraying uh, colonial silver on it, wiping it off. You know, I got a picture of Kennedy. It's a Life magazine that's inside a nice frame. And uh, I don't have it hung up. It just, just doesn't feel like home. I'll, I'll be okay here. I'm just trying to stay close to my grandkids, to be honest with you. I've seen a lot of things go on in my family, and uh, that's that and that. But uh, I try to give you guys hope. They got more gallons. You know, if it's really bad, you got an itch. I found out I got diametaceous earth for some, from, I think it's TSC tractor supply or something. It was brown, but it was, uh, it's the kind you can eat, I guess. Uh, something you give chickens or whatever. But so I had a guy just 
talked to me back then. He says, we got diamondation, sir? Yeah. Take that powder, you know, and just rub it all over everybody that's itching. I had brown shit all over the place, powder. My wife's like, what are you doing? Well, I got the itch to stop. You know, early on in that disease, we went right through Walmart, you know, getting creams, uh, salves, uh, you name it. But the, the most important thing for me in my recovery has been colonial silver with a generator. You know, some people say, well, I put drops under my tongue. I do this. My generator makes gallons and gallons of silver for pennies. Go price what four ounces of silver is, 17 bucks. Yeah, but it's got six, you know, 3,000 part, you know, parts per million. Uh, I tried that in the beginning, but it was only 30. That's all I could find. I didn't know what, where these people were getting all these high numbers. It helped immediately. I drank it right out of these little bottles. You know, the guy that was coaching me said, man, drink four ounces and four ounces. And that was an eight ounce bottle in a day. That would have been 17 bucks a day. But I did that for a while. Uh, my wife was kind of getting fed up with it because I wasn't healing fast enough. <clears throat> the reason I know it works, I don't hear a lot of people talk about it. There was one girl on here that had it real bad. I'm talking about from the stomach on the way out of your butt. I had these yellow eggs. Uh, the only reason I really noticed them because my wife had, uh, being a disabled veteran, I can't, I want to make sure I'm good and white and clean. You know, baby wipes, all that. My wife does it for me, but she noticed with a washcloth one time, she had pulled it back and there was like a hundred yellow eggs in the toilet. You know, we kept seeing anomalies look like little bugs or black specks, stuff coming out of me. And then I'd watch that girl on TV uh, or on YouTube. Same thing. She was even showing what was coming out of the front of her. Okay. Uh, it works. It works for me. That's what I should say. The uh, SSKI, I should have done it for four to six months. I think I only did it for like 12 weeks. And I got up to like 15 drops uh, three times a day. But I was in bed. It was kicking my ass. I mean, it was just, you know, stuff was coming out of me and everything. So this cream I got works real well. Uh, I don't know if everybody get that cream. You know, it, it helps heal up the, uh, the little dots and things that get on my skin. So I'm going to make another video, but it's, it's more about what's going on in the world, what I see, you know, about the cell towers, the chemtrails, uh, what I think about what's going on with Trump, things that way. And uh, I'm going to ask, ask you all again, just uh, if you don't know the Lord, man, if you need to get saved, pray a prayer, ask him to come into your heart. It's a free gift. And once you get it, it don't mean you got to hurry up and go out and join a church. He'll lead you. He'll let you know what you need to do. Pray to him. Stay in contact with him. Invite him to fellowship with you. Uh, you may just be laying in a tub meditating, thinking about stuff. Hey, George, Lord, want to join my meditation a little bit here? You can't start thinking about things. Maybe he's telling you stuff. You know, he, he tells you a script of verse that you remember. You know, I'm no dummy to the Bible. I got saved back in 1992. And, uh, I think that's the key part is some people only use God for a 911 call. Like my sons, if the only time they ever come and see me, Dad, I need help, uh, which we've been responding. That's why we're in trouble with money. I got one son, trusted him. I actually went and got a loan for him for a truck. I didn't co-sign for him. I got the loan. My wife put plates in her name. We paid the insurance. He's a lumberjack. He does uh, wood things, you know, out in the woods. We said, well, the kid's trying to work, you know, and it's me. got my grandkids there. Uh, as we speak, you know, they're calling, wanting that truck. They're wanting the money. I don't have it because I'm making my truck payment. I'm trying to pay my rent. That's just one episode. You know, I got other sons and other grandkids and now you're whining about it. But people have said, well, you made a bad decision. No, I didn't. It's never a bad decision for me to want to protect my bloodline and my, and my grandkids. Uh, some people say, well, if they're not working, you need to kick their ass to the road, to the curb. Uh, yeah, you know, each situation is different. 
for the last days here, God telling me, round up your family. Somebody's always got something in your family you hate, or they did something, or gay, or something that, uh, I got my feelings hurt the other day. I've had a lot of things happen. I, I, I'd have got out here, but I, it would have been a rant. Okay, I got a brother down in Florida. I don't care if he sees this or not. He's gay. You know, five, six years ago, he left his wife up in Michigan, his 18-year-old daughter. So I'm gay. He's got a lover down there. They've been together a lot of years. Uh, I, I accepted him. My, my other brother's dead now, but he had, he disowned him. My mother disowned him, said he needs to see a psychiatrist. He isn't gay. How can he be gay? He has a daughter that's 18, blah, blah. But I hadn't spoke to him in five, six years. You know, we've been in touch for five or six years now. But it's just basic stuff. You know, when Trump got elected, he said something like, yeah, that Trump, you know, I'm already thinking as smart as I am about that. Don't say anything about Trump. Let's see where he's going with this. Yeah, he's going to screw up and fuck up my LGBT. And uh, we're going to be in World War Three. And he had a whole list of stuff. And I said, I said, I know, man. I said, uh, some people just like Trump, though, you know. They just didn't like Hillary or whatever. And then we don't talk about it no more. But I sent him about four or five of these videos I'm making. You know, I'm trying to say, okay, man, I accepted you for being gay. I accepted you, you know, still said I love you and stuff. Let me know what you think of these videos. Never got a reply. I know what his reply was to his lover or whoever, friends. I seen one of his friends post on her. Yeah, that would be great. Uh, then we'd all be democratic. I don't know what that meant. But anyways, he didn't respond. But to me, I know what he said. Yeah, that's my older veteran batshit crazy brother. He's got spirits. Oh, he thinks he's got more gallons and blah, blah, blah. But you got to realize he's listening to the mainstream news. He's a parrot. He's repeating what he learns throughout the day and watches and goes and tells his friend, you know. I've seen a lot of his friends. I've heard them on videos and they're, they're the same as far as what they believe. So, John, if you're watching, I don't believe you are. There's nothing I can do, man. I gave you free information. If you want to call me your batshit crazy brother, that's okay. But I'm done, man. You're not going to hear another word out of me about any of that stuff. Or probably no conversation. I just don't have time for you. And I had to cut them loose. You know, shake the dust from your sandals. You don't give pearls to pigs. They'll trample them. They don't know what pearls are for, you know. They'll trample them in the mud. But anyways, it... More gallons, people. I try to be friends with you. I want to be friends with you. I'm just at a different level right now. I'm not saying I'm better or worse. It's just that the things I'm doing, uh, I've tried making friends. You know, it's just uh, it's a very emotional disease. You know, very emotional. So that's about the best all I got to offer today. And I, I hope you enjoyed my video. Subscribe to me. Uh, if you got it in your heart, hit my PayPal, and uh, I'm going to try to put a few more videos out. And thank you for watching. Bye now.